In this video we are going to look at two different ways of creating our sheet metal parts. The first is designing our product from scratch using sheet metal features and the second will be importing a part that was created in a different CAD system sent directly from our customer. We will see how the easy to use sheet metal tools in SolidWorks can transform the way you design and create your components complete with automatically generated flat patterns. For our first example we are going to create the bottom casing of an amplifier. The commonly used sketch tools I need for creation are available right next to the mouse. Along with this, SolidWorks allows us to create sketch relations which control how the sketch behaves. Notice how the rectangle stays central while dragging. After building a simple sketch, we make our base flange. In the dialogue here, I can specify the thickness of our part. No matter your method of manufacture, we can specify numerous bend allowance or bend deduction options in SolidWorks to calculate the flat pattern size correctly. Next, we can create edge flanges in our design. We have the ability to create multiple edge flanges at the same time. There is also an option to customize the gaps between our flanges. We now want to start creating the placement for the feet. We can do this very easily by using the design library forming tool. You simply need to drag it in from the library and place it in the desired locations. After a bit of configuration, your feet will be created. We will use the same method as before to create some louvers in the side. I'm going to start the next feature by dragging a sketch onto the back face of my design. With this sketch I'm going to create a vent. We define ribs and spurs by selecting the sketch entities. and easily set the thickness of these entities in the property manager. SolidWorks will create our vent to easily improve the ventilation in our design. We may also want to remove all these sharp edges. We can use the hem tool to create some Dutch folds. In this tool we have many variations of hems ranging from closed to rolled hems. I will be using a closed hem. You can see the variety of options we have available to us here. After creating the product, we may want a flat pattern to send to our manufacturing team. To create our DXF or DWG, it's as simple as right clicking and selecting the option. We can also decide what features we want to show, such as forming tool positions and bend lines. We can also fluently move into our drawing environment in SolidWorks. Here we can quickly and easily create three standard views and an isometric view by using the option to automatically create projected views. I'll develop this drawing by adding a few dimensions. We can use the model dimensions to do this, saving us time and effort of creating the dimensions again. We can also add a flat pattern by dragging the view from the view palette. The flat pattern has been added with all the required information such as bend angle and internal radius. On a more complicated part, this text can cause your drawing to look quite cluttered. We can create a bend table to remove this information and move it to the table automatically, giving us a much cleaner display. We now move on to our second example. Here we have a hopper that has been created in a different CAD system. Because of this, we have no flat pattern. It has also been created as a single part. But in order to manufacture, 
we need to break this down into multiple parts. In this example, we can quickly turn this imported part into a sheet metal product. To turn our part into sheet metal, we will use the Convert to Sheet Metal tool. It's as easy as selecting faces and edges. Much like when creating a brand new part, we get a lot of the same options to define the thickness and the radius. We can also decide how many parts we want to make using this tool, so our design is easier to manufacture. We also have the ability to leave the edges corner to corner ready to be fabricated. After finalising our design, I have created a drawing much like before. Having created a drawing, we need to make some modifications to the size of our hopper. As our part is imported, we don't have the features which created the original design. The move face command is superb here. We need to first select the faces we want to move. Then we simply drag the triad. The real time preview gives us an idea of how the modifications are going to affect our model. After making these changes, we go back to our drawing we see that this is automatically updated with the new sizes and our design modifications are complete. In summary, using SolidWorks sheet metal makes it much easier to create our parts ready for manufacture. Whether we are creating from scratch or importing non-SolidWorks files, we can easily create multiple edge flanges. We also have a supplied library full of forming tools with the ability to create custom profiles. Many other sheet metal tools such as hems and jogs are at our disposal. We can keep our design up to date with fully associative drawings and assemblies. The software automatically creates accurate flat patterns and we can export to DXF or DWG for laser cutting.